Welcome to this MicroFocus ZenWorks video presentation. My name is Darren Vandenbos, Product Manager for ZenWorks Full Disk Encryption. ZenWorks Full Disk Encryption is a fixed disk data at rest encryption solution. It secures data on Windows devices when the device is turned off, making the data, including the operating system, inaccessible to unauthorized users. Over the next several minutes, I'll introduce you to the primary features of ZenWorks Full Disk Encryption. From what is encrypted and how it is encrypted, to how you can use pre-boot authentication to enhance Windows login security, how you can recover data if a device becomes unbootable, and how you can track device encryption status to ensure compliance with your organization's encryption policies. ZenWorks Full Disk Encryption encrypts fixed disks on workstations, standard laptops, and notebooks such as Microsoft Surface Pro. The devices must be running Windows versions 7, 8, or 10. Legacy BIOS firmware and MBR partition type are supported, along with the newer UEFI firmware and GUID partition table standards. Add in support for standard hard disk drives, solid state drives, including those that use the NVM Express specification, and self-encrypting drives, and you see that ZenWorks Full Disk Encryption can be used on a wide range of Windows operating systems and device hardware. ZenWorks Full Disk Encryption lets you encrypt all partitions on a fixed disk or identify specific partitions to encrypt. This can be extremely useful if, for example, you've created a data partition on the disk and only want to encrypt that partition. Likewise, you can encrypt partitions across one or more disks. In terms of encryption algorithms, you can choose from the Advanced Encryption Standard, Blowfish, and the Data Encryption Standard along with its X variant. 128, 192, and 256 key links are supported. Sector level encryption is used, which ensures that no data files, system files, or directories can be accessed until a user authenticates to Windows. Once a user logs into Windows, data is available to that user. To enhance login security, ZenWorks Full Disk Encryption provides optional authentication prior to Windows startup. This is referred to as pre-boot authentication. When it is enabled, the device boots to a Linux kernel that is explicitly configured for security and reliability. After successful pre-boot authentication occurs, the device then boots to the Windows operating system. For authentication, you can use standard user ID password authentication, smart card authentication, or both. To make it easy to populate the PBA credentials, ZenWorks Full Disk Encryption can capture the credentials, either user ID password or smart card, of the first user to log in after initialization of the PBA. And, of course, if you don't want users to have to enter both PBA credentials and Windows credentials, you can configure single sign-on so that only the PBA credentials are required. Without fail, users forget passwords. If a user forgets their pre-boot authentication password, you can use the Help Desk Challenge Response to override the PBA. On the device, the user generates both a request ID and a challenge sequence and gives them to the help desk. The help desk uses these two pieces of data to generate a response sequence for the user. Once the user enters the response sequence, PBA authentication is bypassed. As part of the process, the help desk determines the number of times the override is allowed. To reset the user's password, the help desk invokes a user capturing command on the device. This allows the user to enter a new password during the next PBA login. If a situation occurs where a user is unable to log into a device because it is not functioning correctly, you can attempt to fix the boot issue or decrypt the disk to recover the data. This requires an emergency recovery disk and an emergency recovery file. The ERD, which contains a recovery application, uses Windows PE to boot to the device. The ERI file holds the keys needed to access the encrypted disk. Once the recovery application uses the ERI file to access the disk, you can perform recovery operations such as repairing the partition table, decrypting the disk, or deactivating the PBA. To ensure that you always have a valid ERI file for a device, 
The file is uploaded to the Zenworks server at initial encryption and any time encryption settings are changed. Proving that devices are encrypted or determining periods of time when they were or were not is a compliance policy requirement for many organizations. Using Zenworks auditing, you can see both encryption dates and decryption dates for a device. And with Zenworks reporting, you can generate digital or printed reports with the same detailed compliance information. To summarize what we've seen over the last several minutes, Zenworks full disk encryption encrypts fixed disks on Windows 7, 8, and 10 devices, encrypts all partitions or selected partitions on one or more disks, offers optional pre-boot authentication to increase Windows login security, provides help desk aided recovery for, for forgotten PBA passwords, supports recovery of data on disks that are failing to boot, allows for auditing of device encryption and decryption. Thank you for your interest in Zenworks full disk encryption. This completes this video presentation.